Hello guys, you're welcome to AOK Tally Masterclass. Um, we are starting with our case studies, practical examples. We are going to learn how to record transactions in Tally. So with case study number one, we will start with how to create ledgers. So first of all, in our previous um, video, we discuss how to create a company so we've already created this company sky emoja limited what we need to do is to create the ledgers so before we do we can go back and check the question and see the information that is required of us then we'll come back to tally and create the ledgers okay after creating the ledgers we will move on to posting the transactions into the system all right so let's go back to the question and this was the question so if you recall in our previous video we did the first aspect by creating this very company so in this session our focus is on how to create these ledgers okay so let's see how we're going to create these ledgers. Ledgers are basically account head for which a transaction can be traced to. Okay, so as per this question, we need to create these ledgers so that we'll be able to post these transactions down here. So the first session of this video is going to talk about the ledger creation. So if we can see, we have um, capital which is going to be created under a group called Capital. Unibank will also be created under Unibank. And then Unibank will be created under Bank Account. Um, ADB will be created under Bank Account as well. Furniture is a fixed asset. Sandra is a Sandra data. Discount Allow, Discount Receive, David Venture, Wages, Purchases, Sales, Stationery, Miscellaneous, Suzy, Drawings, Depreciation, Machine, Badet, Trade Expense, and Gideon. All these ledgers have to be created into our system before we can post our transactions. Okay, so let's go to Tally and see how to handle this. So when you come to Tally, to create our ledgers, we go under Masters, we go to Account Info. And you can see we have ledgers right here so we click on the hotkey for the keyboard is l because l is red you can just click on our keyboard and then we have the option to create from either a single screen or a multiple screen now what's the difference between the two when should we create under single ledger screen and when should we create under multiple very simple with a single, when you are creating, you have a lot of options. You'll be able to give a shortcut to the ledger you are creating. And then, um, as soon as you create or you type, it goes directly into the system. It is saved directly into the system. But with a multiple creation, you do not have the option to give a shortcut to the ledger you are creating. Neither um will the item be saved after you type you need to actually type all the items you have for example in this question we have 20 ledgers you may have to type all the 20 ledgers before you actually save it into the system while the single entry or single ledger screen will allow you to save every single ledger you create before moving on to the next um, ledger okay so for examination purpose in order not to make any mistake you can choose the single um, ledger where you'll be able to give a shortcut so that when we are posting the transactions and you need a particular ledger you don't need to type the whole name you may choose to just type a shortcut and then the entire name will come so basically that's the advantage and disadvantage of um, either to choose the single or the multiple okay so for the purpose of this discussion we can choose to um, use the single to look at how it will look like and then also the multiple so there are 20 ledgers in this question we will use 
the single to create the first ten, and then we'll use the multiple to create the last ten. Okay, so let's see how we'll do that. With a single, the sh keyboard shortcut is C because the C is red. I just click on my C, and then this is the leisure Christian screen. We have the name, we have the alias, we have the under, we have inventory values are affected and some other information. So let's start with our creation. The first one is capital. So I can give it an alias called C. So anytime I need capital, all I'll do is just click on C and it will come. Capital was under capital account. This will not affect inventory, so we leave it as it is. The address and all these are not needed. The tax is not given. The opening balance is not given. So we just enter. And there we go. The next one was Unibank. So Unibank, we can just call it Uni. And then Unibank is under bank accounts. So we pick our group. Effective date, we leave it just as the financial year. Then we also have ADB Bank. Okay, ADB Bank, let's call it ADB. And it happens to be under bank as well. Okay. So we'll keep switching just to get the entire ledgers. The next ledger that we need to create is our furniture which is under fixed asset Sandra who is a sundry data so let's go back to tally and create a furniture account furniture let's denote it with F furniture is a fixed asset and it won't affect inventory the next one is Sandra who is a sundry data so let's give it Sun as the shortcut sundry data and bill by bill yes so we'll be able to know the outstandings of this data okay so we move on to the next one which is discount allow which is indirect expense discount receive which is indirect income so let's go back to tally discount allow and discount receive discount allow is under indirect expense let's call it da as the alias so anytime we need that we just type da this is under indirect indirect expense it will not affect inventory the next one is discount receive which is indirect income let's call it dr and this is indirect income it will also not affect inventory so we save okay let's check the next set of ledgers we have david ventures and then we have wages now wages is direct expense. David Venture is a sundry creditor. And then we have purchases, which is under purchases. So we have David wages and then purchases. Let's go back to tally and create these items. We have David Ventures and David Ventures sdv is a sundry creditor okay then we have after david venture we go back to wages and then we go to purchases wages is under direct expense let's give it w direct expense and then we have our purchases so take note purchases 
inventory values will be affected purchases and the purchases accounts and inventory values have to be affected so we say yes okay so we've created the first 10 ledgers okay and a single that's is starting from capital unibank adb furniture sandra discount allow discount receive david venture wages and then purchases so we've created this first 10 under the single let's go to tally and observe how it looks like after the creation so now if you want to view what you've done go to display and check so you can see we have um, our adb we have our capital denoter we see however you can see we have cash and also we have p and l these two ledgers are predefined ledgers so you don't necessarily have to create them because they already exist in the system so we didn't create cash and pnl but when you come here you see it because they are predefined ledgers okay so these are the first 10 ledgers that we created including the predefined ledgers that are already there now let's go to the multiple creation and look at how the multiple creation also looks like and create the next 10 ledgers in the question so when you come to multiple creation this is how the interface looks like multiple ledger creation under group so here because you're going to create a number of ledgers under different group you have to select all items okay assuming you are going to create some ledgers that are all under indirect then over here you could have selected indirect expense but because you're going to create um different ledgers under different group you need to pick all items okay so now that we are here we go to our question and we look out for the next set of ledgers so we have sales which is under sales account then we have stationery which is indirect expense so let's create this to sales and stationery okay so sales and take a closer look at how this one is compared to the single creation there's no opening then we go to our stationery okay now if you observe there's nothing like alias in this field so if you want to give an alias the multiple creation screen is not the best option you have to do it under the single okay so we go to the next set of leisure miscellaneous and then Susie. Susie is a sundry daughter miscellaneous is indirect expense so let's go and create our miscellaneous miscellaneous expense which is under indirect expense then we go and create our sundry data suzy now you realize that all what we've typed have not been saved until we save you have only typed it and if your machine goes off or anything happens all these ledgers that we've typed will not be saved on the multiple creation okay so we are creating the next two set of ledgers drawings and depreciation okay so let's go back to tally drawings drawings is under capital account depreciation is indirect depreciation is under indirect expense okay okay they want us to specify okay so indirect expense all right let's move on to the next set of leisure we have machine it's an asset fixed asset bar debt is indirect expense so we move on to tally machine is a fixed asset bad debt is an indirect expense as per the question then we move on to the last two 
pleasures we have trade expense which is indirect expense then we have Gideon who is a sundry creditor trade expense and Gideon let's go back to tally trade expense is under indirect okay let's specify indirect expense and then we have Gideon who is a sundry creditor okay so now with a multiple we've typed about 10 ledgers until we save either using control plus a or we enter like this all what you've typed will not be saved on unlike the single creation where as soon as you type the first one before you can even type the second one the first one would have been saved into the system so this is the difference between the single and the multiple so now everything is okay so i'll just enter and then it goes into the system now even though we display or we created under multiple creation if i want to display or view i'll still come to single and then come and display so let's go to display and you realize that the items or ledgers we created under multiple are also here we created gideon under multiple machine miscellaneous sales all these were created under the um, multiple but the only issue is that those created under multiple do not have alias so assume you want to give it an alias after you create them under multiple you still have to alter them under the single alteration is for making corrections so when you want to make correction just come to alter and then you select whichever leisure that you want to make corrections on okay so for example we created uh, miscellaneous and a multiple so let's select that you can see that there was no alias because under multiple you don't have the option for alias so now we can give it an alias called m and then we save okay but for the purpose of exams or whatever you may be doing with tally you cannot create everything under multiple and then come back to the single to alter so if you want to give an alias the best place to create is the single leisure to save you time and as we go to the voucher creation you will notice that if you give an alias to each of them it will be very easy because all you will need is to type that shortcut and then the item will come so guys this is how to create ledgers and how to do corrections or change or even delete assuming you want to delete a particular ledger when you go to alter you select the ledger that you want to make changes or delete you press alt d it will give you the option to delete so assuming you made a mistake in creating a certain ledger that you don't need go to alter select that ledger and go to alt plus d if you really want to delete you click on yes to delete and it will be removed completely from your list but we don't want to delete so we go back so this is how to create ledgers okay so watch out for the next session where we'll look at how to record the transactions in the question okay so in our next session we are going to look at how to record these transactions in tally how to record these transactions in tally and so in the next session we'll talk about accounting vouchers and we'll look at how to record this transaction all right thank you guys subscribe to our channel and get more insight in how to use tally thank you